I know it doesn't look good. Uh, I'm aware of that, having Crawford crash two races in a row now for Sargent to come in and pit. But I can assure you, I can guarantee you, this is not a strategy of Haas, nor have we ever told Crawford to crash. The truth is, he's just not very good. He crashes a lot. Hey guys, I'm Ozzie Dillon and welcome back to Kicking Hass. Today we have the Monaco Grand Prix, so we better qualify well. We have got lots of front wings and uh, well, let's hope we don't need all of them. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, nothing new on the car. It's only been a four day gap since uh, since the last race. And uh, well, it's not too much there for to catch you up on. Sergeant sitting, sorry, Hass sitting fifth in the, in, the, in the constructors. Sergeant sitting seventh in the drivers. But it is very, very close, uh, sort of around what, what eighth till eighth to third really is all the way up for grabs and then Red Bull are kind of as you would expect with the Verstappen Leclerc uh, partnership running away with things and like I say nothing new to add to the car uh, but drivers we do have a development point for Sargent uh, so I'd imagine control would probably be a decent one <laughs> for Monaco but we will stick it into <clears throat> excuse me into uh, smoothness try and get that up to at least 60 and then we will look to go from there uh, and the other two guys don't have anything there's nothing to report on staff improvements and uh yeah there's not really much else to, to report at all so let's have a quick look at what we're doing here at monaco it is going to be a wet qualifying now that could actually that could work into our favor if we can keep it on the track. But anyway, uh, circuit map, we can see it there. Uh, sectors for qualifying is uh, red sector one, blue sector two, yellow sector three. Sections by speed, it is slow, uh, which is tends to suit our cars, to be honest. We are very good at going slow. 50% um, chance of a safety car. Now, that is with four sergeant, uh, before, sorry, yeah, Crawford was on the grid. It's got to be up at maximum, at least 89%, surely. Um, at a minimum, I should say. Pit time lost 20 seconds, but uh, that drops to 12 under a safety car. Expected strategies, I mean, Monaco is just a one-stop, isn't it? That just is. Uh, compound performance, we can see it there. I mean, it's kind of start on a soft, go to a hard as early as you can, and just try and finish, basically. Uh, last year, we had K-Mag second, Sergeant sixth. On the lead lap, so Sergeant last year didn't do too bad here. Now, it's always been a Red Bull or a Ferrari. Um, of course, two of those drivers are both in a Red Bull now. So that is uh, <laughs> Leclerc of a step and get your money on now, I dare say. So let's have a look and see what we are performance targeting here. Uh, Q2, we should be able to do that. Top eight, do we trust Sergeant? We'll see. And uh, reach Q3 would be nice. Uh, fastest lap is probably they want an eighth place finish sure we can we can dream and uh we need one car in the top 10 and then we need two in the top 10 we're just never going to get that this season are we so that's all of that let's head off to monaco all right and here we go we can see light rain on saturday let's hope it is for qualifying at least we'll mix things up a little bit before we go too far actually i want to just quickly say uh this week we're going to have four episodes of kicking house to replace grindavik uh it's been a little bit of a, just a weird weekend for me so i haven't done much pre-recording and this is the this is i can sort of churn these out also we have the new episode the new episode the new version of the game coming out a month earlier than expected which means this will be the final season and to make sure we get it in we do need to to quicken the pace a little bit i think so yeah two two part reason but uh we'll be kicking house four times this week let's hope that uh this is the first <laughs> we, we're kicking house not getting our house kicked all right we have done free practice results let's have a look at it For fp1 we had sergeant in the wall but also in p5 only hit the wall once so we've only lost one front wing so far so that's pretty good uh, if we go down there jack crawford in 16th fp2 uh, again logan sergeant fifth uh, and then if we scroll down, Crawford down there in 18th. And then FP3, 8th for Sargent and Crawford in 18th. So you will notice we're gradually getting worse, which is maybe not great. But we haven't had any rain yet. We are expecting rain for qualifying. So good setup confidence from both of them. We're going to put in the new car parts or the, the fresher car parts. And then we're going to get out there. We're going to go straight away because we don't know when the rain is going to come. Uh, and we want to make sure that we've got our best laps in before it gets here and uh yeah hopefully get both cars out of q1 all right we have crawford right on the bubble he is currently 15 and of course only the top 15 go through uh, Sardra's not on track. He's third right now. He's absolutely fine. Uh, we've already done two runs with Crawford. He did get badly balked in his first one, so that obviously wasn't great. Uh, second run was on the same set of tyres and didn't do him any favours. And he's only done a yellow first sector, uh, and there are people behind him going faster. Now, Stroll is out. Uh, we're down to 17th. Leclerc is going to beat him. So we need he needs to pull something out here. He's done a green middle sector. Is this the end of his Monaco Grand Prix, or... Is he going to be able to get himself into Q2 and maybe into some rain? Come on, Jack. Can you do it, mate? Can you do it? 
No, he's 18th. He's stuffed. So there we go, he is eliminated, we'll start 18th, and uh, well, I don't know what we do with that, that's uh, that's not a good one, is it? Crawford, Sergeant though, sorry, is through, so let's proceed with him. Alright, so the rain is here, we are on Inters to start uh, the second uh, qualifying session here. Now we're going uh, four laps, just to try and hopefully get the best of the weather, uh, and then we can come in and we can sort of wait, and if we get a chance of small window to go out on a slick tire, then we can do that as well. Now, Sergeant, as we know, is not the best in the wet. He got horribly blocked there by Gwen Uzo, I think. Uh, yeah, he's not the best in the wet, so... You know, we'll, we'll just hope for the best here. He's done a purple, then a yellow, and he is still third fastest. Is this his final push lap, or has he got one, or is this, uh, has he done the, no, this must be his final push lap, I think. And he has not improved, so we'll come in now, and see what Verstappen just felt in a lap. Look at that, 1.4 seconds faster than Sargent. Uh, but yeah, we'll put on a soft tyre, and we will hope, uh, it doesn't, we'll, we'll save it a set, it doesn't really matter if it's going to be a fresh set or not, because if it's going to go to a point where we can get to dry, it's just got wet again, so that's not going to happen. So we will go back onto an inter. We'll go a fresh inter. That might help us a little bit. And we probably just get straight back out there, to be honest, because we're going to be doing four time laps. We're currently sitting outside. And it is not looking particularly good for Logan Sargent here to get himself inside the top 10. Is it going to dry out to a point now where you could go onto a soft tire? Maybe it is. Is it going to... Oh, he's gone second. But is anybody on a soft tire? Be oh, no, it's starting to rain again. So they say he saved his bacon there, I think. Um, It is almost... Yeah, let's dump it down again. It was not quite ever to a dry. And Sergeant, well, going out straight away, doing the multiple laps, it has helped us because Logan Sergeant, I think, is going to find himself into Q3. And that is absolutely huge. Don't risk it, mate. Just come in now. And on we go. So that's a cracking result for Sargent in a wet condition. He did t t double the laps of anybody else, but that's fine. I'm okay with that because he got through. All right, well, I stuffed this up. Uh, we tried to do three runs, and he's not going to get around. So he's currently... Ah... <laughs> uh, we had an extra set of soft tyres, you see, because uh, we didn't use a set in Q2. And I thought, you know what would be really, really smart for me to do? Is try and do three runs... Do an extra round while everybody's in the pits, and uh, well, it backfired on me. So, uh, yeah, well, we'll see where everybody else goes. There's the checkered flag as we complete our warm up lap. <laughs> oh dear. If he can stay third, I tell you what, well done, looking sergeant, though. I'll take that, you know, that was genius because he got the fresh lap, no cars on track, and uh, yeah, he starts third. He's in line for a podium if he keeps it on the track, which is a big if. All right, so let's have a look at our strategy options here. Now, it's it's just start on soft, go to hard, isn't it? Um, there's no point trying to overcut because you've just got to... Yeah, I think we just do this. Strategy A. Uh, now, we, could we do something a little funky with Crawford, perhaps? I wonder with him... I was thinking, do we try and do like Perez did in real life, where you just come in after the first lap and do the whole thing on a hard? But, I mean, that suggests that you're not going to be able to do that. So, do we maybe go the other way with him, try and go long, luck into a safety car, and then and then we can pit under the safety car, and that might that might help him out a little bit. Because there's not... I mean, he's basically stuffed, isn't he? There's not much we can do about it. So, all right, let's see what we can do here. We'll use Urs for the first lap and try and take advantage of it, but I don't... It's Monaco, it's boring. <laughs> that being said, let's get to this race. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. And yeah, well, we'll see what we can do. If Sergeant can get himself off the line here, maintain his third. Or could he go second? Go on, Logan, stick it up there. Can't quite get it with the Urs, get the Ferraris on the outside, which will become the inside. If he can keep his nose there, he might do the... No, he's backed out of it. Probably for the best. And uh, Crawford is up to 18th. Well, he started, that's where he started. He must have lost a place off the line. So, well, we stayed where we wanted. That's, you know, I was happy for him to stay third. Very close to getting uh, getting ahead of the Ferrari there of science. But now it just really is a case of both our guys keeping it out of the barriers. And, yeah, just trying to go with, uh, with the front guys here. The, the, the Claire on behind is only on a medium tire. So that must mean he's going to do a medium to hard. 
uh, which means when he... Oh, a little bit of a mistake was that from Sites. That means when we come in for a, a fresh hard tyre, the Claire's going to be on an old medium. Uh, so, that, you know, we should be able to just sort of do an undercut and, and stay right where we need to. So we'll take both of them off of Urs now. We'll try and save that if we need to do push laps before or after a pit stop. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll try and keep you updated all on this race, but I suspect that it's just going to be a little bit of a follow the leader for the next few races as DRS comes online. So I've got to say, fair play to Sergeant here. He is all over the back of Science. Uh, he's dropped Leclerc, and, you know, Verstappen is, uh, is not that far away. So, yeah, I mean, it's too early to do anything with strategy yet, but there's certainly an argument to be said. Actually, if we try and charge the battery behind him, uh, while we look faster. And then, unfortunately, Crawford is just stuck behind Ricardo right now. As there's been a competitive crash. It's neither of our cars, which is maybe surprising. It's a safety car. Uh, it's too early, isn't it? It's only lap 9. It's too early to come in yet. Alright, so safety car is coming in. It has just come in. So we will go again. We'll uh, just I think we'll just deploy for one lap and see if we can catch the uh, science a bit cold here. Looks as though Gasly got past Leclerc, so that's not ideal because Leclerc was sort of holding everybody back for us. What sort of tyre was Gasly on? He's on a soft, so yeah, that kind of makes sense. Um, and Crawford, if we're interested, is just stuck behind Ricardo. Well, sort of, so he's on a hard tyre as well. So I mean, ideally, we could do with getting past him for our race, but I don't know if it's going to make that much difference, to be honest. Um, so we'll go back to neutral. We'll go back to neutral. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next safety car, which Crawford will probably cause. All right, now we are entering our pit window with Logan Sarge, and we are still all over the back of Carlos Sainz. We've managed to harvest our battery as well. Um, now, the issue we have is that it's so marginal. What I don't think we can afford to do is an undercut, although, I mean, it's Monaco. It's going to be difficult to overtake anyway, isn't it? Let's go one more lap. We'll go one more lap, and then if Science doesn't pit, then we will pit. What we don't want to do is come in the same lap as him. So I think this lap, we come in, we put on our hard tyre, and then when we come out of the pits, we go deploy, push, no, not push the tyres, but like uh, but like the petrol, this thing. Um, you know, no lift and coast, and just really, really try and get that undercut. Now, what we don't need is for him to come in this lap, because that would uh, that would be quite devastating for us. Um, and what we also don't need necessarily is to come out behind a group of cars. But let's just uh, pretend that we've checked that and it's going to be in this nice little gap here. Potentially. Now, don't come in the pits this lap, Science. Don't come in the pits this lap. Thank you very much. Alright, here we go. We're going for the undercut. This may come back and haunt us at the end of the race, but equally, it's Monaco. It's difficult to overtake. We'll do our best. All right, let's just pause because I want this to come up as soon as I can get it. There we go. Oh, dear. We've come out into the middle of the fence. Uh, we've come out. Uh, not that one. This one. Push. Deploy. Uh, where are we? So it's Sonoda that's in front. We've managed to keep. So we've... Yeah, maybe not quite. We needed to come out in front of that Alfa Romeo, didn't we? So that mo this might destroy us. Because there's a medium tyre there as well. Oh dear. They're all on mediums. Verstappen is pitting. We've got to get a move done. Who says you can't overtake at Monaco? Hey, Logan? All right, there's one. Science has stayed out. All right. If we can maybe go and get this car down the front straight. It looks like we can. All right. Verstappen is gone. We kind of knew that, though. Uh, where's Gasly? Gasly's behind us. Alright, so that's worked out nicely on that front. Now, can we jump the Ferrari? That is the big million dollar question here, isn't it? 17 seconds to the leader. It was, what, 20 seconds for a pit stop, wasn't it? So I think we've, I think we've done it already. Uh, he's in the pits. So this is huge. Could we be looking at a second place finish for Logan Sargent here? Come on. Is the Ferrari moving? I think it is. Are we going to get him? Are we going to get him? New fastest lap of the race. And we are ahead of Carlos Sainz. Excellent work, Logan. Excellent work, mate. 
Okay, so the medium tire runners have all pit for the most part, and we are ahead of Sainz, albeit only just. He, we were stuck behind uh, a train of cars there with Norris and Co. Uh, but with most of the stops done, we've got Crawford in eighth and just really hanging on for a safety car at this point. Uh, and then we've got Sergeant in second. Sainz, now we, were, we did look quicker than him when we were behind him. Now, was that just DRS assisted or... Are oh, we actually a little bit quicker than him here? Let's let's see what he can do. But uh, this could be a very, very nice race for Logan Sargent. As ever with the caveat, if he can keep it out of the fence. Take a look oh, the and Logan so Sargent Sargent couldn't Sargent. keep him behind. I've given you track position there, mate, and you've let him past. Unbelievable. Get, past. get him back, mate. Come on. Position. Oh, safety car. Safety car perfectly timed for Crawford right in his pit window. Uh, we don't know what's happened as of yet, but we will obviously be pitting Crawford. Now, he's going to drop probably back to last 18th, uh, which is essentially last because there's going to be two cars that are out. But he's going to have a soft tyre, and, well, you never know, I suppose. All right, so safety car is in this lap. Now, thankfully, the game has been patched so that uh, the lap cars can overtake. So Crawford, although he was a lap down, is uh, putting himself off into the distance. But here we go. We are looking to overtake rather than deploy. Um, if uh, what we could do is Sightseeing wants to have a go at Verstappen, take a, take each other out, guys, and then we can go from there. Uh, Crawford's going to be absolutely rapid. He's on soft tires. We're able to push, uh, except he is still on uh, harvest, so we should probably get rid of that for him. Um, I would be tempted to send him over after half, uh, fastest lap, but given that uh, that Sergeant currently has it, I don't want to take a point away from him, and essentially the team as well, because let's face it, Crawford is not scoring points today. But uh, Sergeant could, and he's doing very, very well indeed. Now, what sort of tyre is Leclerc on behind us? He is on a hard as well, albeit a bit of a fresher hard tyre. So... Yeah, it is a bit of a shame if, if Crawford could have got himself uh, staying ahead of the, 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 the safety car so he didn't go a lap down, then he might have been a bit of a threat. We'll see where Denny Ricardo gets up to because they were sort of basically on the same strategy and behind each other and Denny Rick got out just in front and Crawford unfortunately just behind. But uh, yeah, well, we'll see what we can do. It looks like uh, Crawford just put a move on Mick Schumacher, which is very nice to see. But this should be DRS back That's available. An and uh, let's yes, look at the Crawford overtake around now. Monaco. Now, just Both on fresh new uh, soft tyres as well. Up the hill. Around the old, no, actually, no, he's not, is he? Mix on the old ones. So, yeah, you'd expect him to get that done. And he does. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. All right, Logan Sargent is currently under very, very big pressure from behind. There he is there, Charles Leclerc. We've not been able to drop him this time. Uh, the front two have pulled away from Sargent. You can see there's a little bit of a Logan train going. And, well, I fear a little bit that it, how much longer he's going to be able to hold them back. Uh, we've essentially burnt three our extra fuel for now. There's still 15 or so laps to go. And, uh, well, yeah, it is Monaco. So, you know, there's always that to cling to. But this is a little bit concerning. We might lose our Monaco podium. Uh, Crawford, by the way, fastest man on track. Absolutely flying. And, uh, yeah, like I say, it's just a bit of a shame that he went a lap down. But that's what you get when you qualify 18th, really, isn't it? Another safety car now would make things interesting, though. All right, we have three laps to go, uh, or four laps to go, maybe, and Sergeant is still heroically, absolutely heroically hanging on to uh, to this place from Charles Leclerc. And, uh, well, it, it's it, you get the feeling it's going to be heartbreak, isn't it? It's going to be last lap heartbreak for this podium, but Sergeant has driven really, really well today, and he deserves it. He's, he's, he's probably not been the quickest, although he was putting sights under a lot of pressure early on there. For whatever reason, late in the race here, he's, his pace is fading compared to those around him. See, there's quite the train. It's not like it's just Leclerc that's queuing up behind him. Uh, but he's he's doing a decent job. Um, I mean, Crawford in 17th, if he was to stick it in the wall now, safety car to the end, wouldn't be a disaster. But uh, we don't tell our drivers to crash here at Haas. It just happens. <laughs> um yeah, we've just got to be a little bit careful on fuel to make sure we get to the end. The tyres are starting to pack it in a little bit as well. If we look at 
uh, tire life you can see we are far and away the worst so yeah he it, it, is very much hanging on and with two laps to go I really really hope he does uh, we haven't really got any battery power left either but we can't we can't afford to harvest it obviously uh, and he is he has got fastest lap which is unlikely to be beaten now as well so you know that that's an extra bonus point for him there whether he comes third fourth or as long as he's in the top 10 he'll get that point but it would be very very nice to see him be able to uh yeah be able to get on the podium with fastest lap which is no mean feat as the last lap has begun by verstappen who is uh, just ahead of leclerc still uh yeah i mean it's no mean feat to get the fastest lap around monaco is it come on mate come on this is realistically his last chance unless he gets a good run through the tunnel and he has stayed behind come on logan a competitor yeah, crash. crash a competitor crash what's happened Crawford. there is it crawford it's not crawford uh so who's crashed is it one of the oh, front two crash. perez has crashed what's Let's happened there okay here's the ferrari was he in the he was at the back of the of the logan train yeah he's just clearly something went very, i don't know what he's done he's, he's done something though he was just shocked he couldn't uh, get past uh, Logan Sargent. But anyway, it's not going to bring a safety car out by the looks of things because the race is effectively done. He may have even got going again. So Verstappen has beaten Sainz to the win, but we only care about Logan Sargent. Is he able to hold off for the final corner? Charles Leclerc and come across and finish on the podium in Monaco. Well done, Logan Sargent. Oh, what a race. Well done. I'm absolutely stoked for him. So there we go, third place, podium, fastest lap, well done, Logan Sargent. Take a bow, mate, that was spectacular. We don't get the podium cutscenes, though, when it's not a, a current driver, which is always a little bit frustrating. If you're interested, Crawford moved up one place, <laughs> finished in 17th. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was just a bit of a disaster for him, really, wasn't it? So... Uh, but it was just bad qualifying. His race actually probably wasn't that bad, to be fair to him. Uh, Sergeant moves up to the fifth in the driver's standings. What a season he is having. And in the constructors, we move above Alfa Romeo up to fourth. And uh, that's probably the top of the battle that we're in, isn't it? We'll do well to do any better than that, I think. But uh, yeah, I think if we get fourth this year... It'll be disappointing, but equally, I think we'll uh, we'll accept that, won't we? But there we go. That is it for today. If you've enjoyed that, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I can tell you the next race is Baku. I've looked it up. I've guaranteed it. We'll be at Baku next race. And, uh, yeah, we walk away from Monaco with a podium. That's a good trip to Monaco, isn't it? Take care. Only one broken front wing, too.